Hello, my name is Tom Astell, and this is another informational video on Wobble Dogs, which is my game about raising and training your very own digital pups. Today I want to talk to you about my system for pathfinding and location-aware behaviors. One of my main goals for the AI in this game is for every dog to be unique, so I try to keep this in mind every time I start planning a feature. Recently I implemented a pathfinding system. Before this, dogs could only interact with things directly in their line of sight. That solution obviously doesn't scale with more complex environments, and I always knew that I would need something more robust. I could have gone for the more traditional approach of building up a nav mesh for my level geometry, but I didn't love the idea of my dogs knowing more about the world than they should. Uh, not gonna lie, I also wasn't really excited by the technical aspect of building that system. The other major thing that I knew I wanted was some way of mapping behaviors to locations. The best example for this that I have right now is sleeping. To me, it makes sense that dogs would have their own favorite spots to sleep, and that they'd most likely try to sleep someplace out of the way of other dogs that might be plotting around the world. I came up with a system that I think solves all of these problems. It allows for emergent and unique dog behavior, and it doesn't let them know any more than they actually should. It's relatively simple, and best of all is that it actually seems to work. As dogs walk around the world, they'll each create their own internal network of nodes. Each node maintains associations with other nearby nodes and objects, and with behaviors that are set up to utilize the system. Dogs can use these networks to find and path to good locations for whatever it is that they want to do, and the system even works with and between pipes. The cool thing about this system is that every dog's network will be different, and at any given time these networks will probably have some inaccuracies. One of the main features of this system is that nodes only update when dogs are actually near them. A dog might think that there's a piece of food in a specific area, but it doesn't know for sure. That food could still be there, but it also might have been eaten or moved. There might not be any more food left in the entire world, but if the dog's hungry enough, it'll still walk around to all the previously known locations of food before giving in. It's also worth mentioning that these associations don't stick around forever. They'll be reinforced when a dog's nearby, but they'll slowly fade when the dog's not. The other major part of the system is behavior associations. Sleeping, for example, is set up to form positive and negative memories with certain locations. Every time a dog sleeps soundly at a specific point, it'll remember that. Likewise, if a dog sleeps someplace and gets woken up for some reason, it'll remember that too. The result is that dogs will stop sleeping someplace if every time they sleep there another dog comes around and bothers them, but the more often they sleep someplace nice, the more likely it is that they'll go back there in the future. There are also a few other considerations when choosing sleeping locations, and these are especially important when a dog doesn't yet have a favorite sleeping spot. When looking for a good place to sleep, dogs prefer nodes with fewer and longer connections. Essentially, locations that they assume will not be dense. It's working pretty well so far. Little dead-end spaces automatically attract weary dogs, and it makes it so that there's a higher chance that dogs will sleep near or on top of each other, which is pretty cute. Sleeping is currently the only behavior that uses this location preference stuff, but the system is built to be pretty general, and applying it to future behaviors is as simple as selecting an option in my tool. There are currently very few behaviors and objects in this game, but the system's already generated some fun situations, and I'm really excited about seeing more stuff take advantage of it. Anyways, that's kind of it for now. There's still a lot more that I eventually want to add to this system, including better support for exploration of unknown areas. I have a few ideas about how to build a more controlled system for that sort of thing, but right now dogs just kind of wander around randomly while they're discovering the world. Uh, anyways, that's for another time. Hopefully this has been interesting, and thanks for watching.